Got here just a few minutes ago, uh, probably around 6, 6.45, 7 o'clock. I'm here with about 200 of my friends here as we get together for the 2012 Boston Marathon. I'm running the Boston Marathon to support the Mass General Hospital for Children Pediatric Cancer Center. There was a need to raise money to support our clinical and laboratory research and quality of life programs. This year I'm running for my friend Matthew. He is almost five years old. He has leukemia and he gives me inspiration every day. And there was also a thought about honoring our patients who were going through quite a grueling therapy for their cancer. You're a kindergartner and you're supposed to learn how to write your name and read and everything and I was learning about what chemotherapy was and you know, what blood transfusions were, all these foreign words that I had no idea what they were. I guess when you're in the clinic and your, your child is being treated with chemo uh, and you're seeing other kids that are sick there and you're perfectly healthy, there's just something that you want to try to do to help these kids. Hi guys, welcome to Hockington. Coincidentally, my family lives very near mile 20 on our marathon course and we opened our house to have our patients and their families and our runners' families gather as a cheering section. It's so exciting when the runners come by. They're exhausted and dragged down and they've been up all the hills but the last one. Then we see one of the Mass General runners come with whatever color shirt it is for the year and there's a hoopla. And once they get to mile 20, they're re-energized by uh, meeting their patient partner or a family member. Some of them stop. Howard, my husband, stops sometimes for a little too long and then cramps up, but then he gets back and starts going. I say to myself when I'm running, when like a training run is hard or um, like the weather's bad, it's just that I'm running for the people that can't. You have to have strength, courage, you know, all the qualities that a patient has. <laughs> The marathon is the clinic's biggest fundraiser of the year and you know, all the money they raise helps to uh, support these programs and the research. I'd like to thank John Hancock Financial Services for making this program possible by providing us with the bib numbers that we're able to distribute to our runners. John Hancock really goes above and beyond um, to allow uh, people like myself to run the Boston Marathon and to raise money for such a great cause. Since 1998, specifically, $6.7 million has been raised to support pediatric cancer. I don't have medical expertise or some way to help children with cancer on my own, but running for MGH on the marathon team makes it that running is a way that I can help them. I realize that with my running I can inspire hope in others, especially in children, just like my patient partner, who finds a great deal amount of happiness and joy in the work that we do together. 